Today we're going to be taking a look at the best hitch options available for the 2014 Chevrolet Silverado 3500. We'll start with the draw tight here. This is part number 65068. We'll follow that up with the cart, part number C31023. Now both of these hitches are going to offer a 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening that will be available to us at the front of our vehicle. Most typical applications are going to be for mounting a winch in there potentially. Sometimes people like to use spare tire racks off the front of the vehicle. Also comes in handy for the snow plow applications. If you don't want to make major modifications to the front of the truck, you can get snow plows that'll fit in here. Now the hitches are very, very similar in that, again, they've got the two inch by two inch receiver tube opening. They're gonna be rated identical to one another. 500 pounds worth of downward force here at the receiver tube opening on both of them. They both offer a 9,000 pound straight line pull. So if we have our winch in there, we can get up to 9,000 pounds on straight line pull. And if you plan on what some people like to do with these is um, help to negotiate boat trailers and things like that into really tight areas, you can get a lot more immediate response from your steering right up front there. Uh, 5,000 pounds is what they've rated it for the gross trailer weight rating. However, the way they fit on the vehicle, they're a little bit different. Our Kurt requires just a little bit of fascia trimming right around the receiver tube here and it mounts pretty much to where it would come out underneath the bumper. When we look at our draw tight, it actually mounts up much higher. This is gonna mount up to a point to where this would actually come out from behind your license plate. So in states where front license plates are required, you'll have to relocate that to, to keep it visible. States where it's not required, it's not so much of a hassle, but something you definitely wanna keep in mind now the secure items in place, both hitches are gonna use the 5 8 diameter hitch pinhole. Class three accessories should be rated up to what you're gonna pull, but be sure you check them to make sure they have the capacity you're looking for. See, same with the Kurt here, 5 8 diameter pinhole. Now there is a second hole that will be located further out from the, the main pinhole that we'll use to secure our items. This is gonna be for use just with the J-Pin stabilization system. Now this is what our cart looks like installed. As you can see, a nice clean look here on the front. There's the fascia where you kind of trim that lower lip out just a little bit. Now from the bottom edge of that fascia, it's going to be down about a quarter of an inch to the bottom side of the receiver tube there. So that'll be something you want to keep in mind. The thing I like about the draw tight is we're bringing it up into this area where it's going to be just about even with the bottom of the tow hooks there. That's going to promote, promote better clearance, I feel like. I think the one that's lower like this with the Kurt, that's going to be really good for your snow plow applications. Whereas if you're doing spare tire carriers, you're doing winches, if you want to move a, move a boat around the house, I think that the higher one's going to be better. Um, that way you won't have to have a big raised shank to get up to your boat trailer tongue. But again, it does require some modification and some relocation of the license plate if you do to choose to do that and if it is required in your state. So definitely something to keep in mind. And that's gonna complete our look at the best front mount hitches available for the Chevrolet Silverado 35. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.